do's and do's. Ow, that really hurt. Um, but yes, we are back on the Brocock server again, and I have been busy. So I actually cleared all this area out off camera, um, mainly because you guys have seen every single person in the world and their mother uh, dig out areas. Yes, we can fly again now. So. Uh, I did it off camera and I actually went ahead and already built a blind farm that is now sat at, I think it's like Y21. We'll go down and check. I'll just show you how it works as well. Okay, so everybody knows how slime spawn in a slime chunk. Of course, this is a slime chunk. So, because at the very top of this tower, I am going to have an iron farm slash mob farm. We needed a way to make sure that the, the iron golems were going to spawn, so I could ha I couldn't exactly use them down here. So instead, I use iron uh, snow golems. Now these snow golems can barely see out of there, and usually will hit their snowballs on here, so they don't cause me too many problems. Same with this one over here. It's only one layer because I know I'm going to need that much slime uh, within this series. Spot that I've been watching it with. Uh, yet the tunnel, the tube going all the way up will eventually have items going through it. Hopefully that is going to work. If not, I may move this. They put it in a corner or something. I have to wait and see. Nice if I could actually have some slime spawn because you're making me sound like I'm a liar. Okay, so it's clearly clear. <laughs> Not playing ball today, but they do spawn, I swear. <laughs> so, I want to give a big thank you to everybody who's been commenting and liking on my videos. I absolutely love you. And oh, you wait for the dragon fight, that gets even better. Today, I am actually going to do some more work on the tower, mainly because I want to move the melons and pumpkins from over there. I want to start on the next uh, field, or the next two fields. I have already dug out the, field, the third one there. So I need to get a melon and pumpkin farm, and that means I need to move the sugarcane farm as well. So two projects today, and they are both going in the tower. So without further ado, run away! No, I mean run that time lapse. <laughs> so I thought I'd start off today's episode with a bit of a uh, backstory into me and my life and the world that I currently live in, which is very difficult. Anyway, uh, I just want to apologize quickly because unfortunately my filters weren't active for the last clip. And also a second note, after this episode, I will be putting on the time lapse for stream day. So keep your eye out for that. So, why is Joker never a part of stream day? Um, that would be because, unfortunately, um, well, no, not unfortunately. But the timings that I have my son um, work out just about the wrong time. So I always end up having him. I have him pretty much every weekend currently. Um, he's seven years old going on 17 like most kids are. So, you know, fun. Anything you say to him, he wants to do the opposite, of course, he's a child. But things are made more difficult by the fact of that my son is in fact disabled. Now my son has something called missing Kathleen. Yeah, try to say that while you're drunk. Uh, its actual English translation is smooth brain syndrome. Or well the medical term. And it is exactly what it says on the tin. <laughs> He has a smooth brain. Now, if you looked at a normal brain, it has grooves and ca um, and unfortunately, his brain 
stop developing at the point of that. He does have some, but they're nowhere near as indented as what like our normal brains are. So basically, the signals aren't going from A to B. Well, they are going, but they're not getting there intact. It's like trying to send smoke signals. You're missing half the message. So, like, just a simple task for him reaching for, say, a cup or a bottle. For him is a monumental task because his eye coordination is out there. He does do it, but it does take two or three tries. Which means he is very 24 hours, seven days a week. So that is why on stream days I'm not usually a part of them. Or if I am, I am only there as in a camera counter set sense. Um, because I can then just leave my computer to just keep recording. Every now and again I'll come back, just make sure it's all going fine. Um, usually you'll see me in the comments and in the chats just talking to the guys, making sure everything's going all right. Um, but my main focus will always be my son. So yeah, that's just a teeny weeny little insight into my life. Um, I do love my son to the world and back. So while I've been away, I had a message from old guy and he's told me to go and make sure I am recording next time I jump on the server. So once it loads, we'll find out what horrific and devastating things have been done to the base. Huh? Oh, I'm not even at the base. <laughs> okay, I'll run over to the portal and I'll be back with you once I get there. <laughs> okay, so here we are at my portal. So let's see what absolute horrors wait for us on the outside. If it is actually old guy that's done it, I'm expecting a giant wither. What? Is that? Huh? Oh, no. Birch Mart brand. Maybe you can find a use for this TP. Oh, guy. Well, at least I've got plenty of white wool now, but... <laughs> oh, my God, this is going to take forever. And, like, I'm literally just out of range of the beacon. It's like he did that deliberately. Well, look, if I stand here, look, yeah, but totally out of range of the beacon. But I don't. <laughs> oh, well, I actually need to set that beacon back up then. Okay, I'm going to clear this and hopefully we can get on with the rest of today's episode. I wonder if he's actually put anything in it. Uh, let's find out. Let's just use some uh, shears just quickly because, well... I'm hoping he has actually put something in it. It's going to look really good. Oh, okay. So it... 
Really? You... Uh, <laughs> I... Uh, hey, the middle. Oh, uh, that's disgusting, though. <laughs> There's another middle. Oh, we'll keep searching. There must be something in here that he's left for me, other than just toilet paper. Like, what, you white old guy, I know where your base is. I know where everything is in your base as well. You've got to remember, I did the the uh, dreams intro, so uh -oh, I'd be running. Yeah, I'm gonna clear. I'm gonna clear this up. I'm gonna burn the uh, birch. Like I'll keep the others, but the birch mart. I'm gonna burn that because yeah, we don't like birch mart. Because oh, you know, op or what? <laughs> All right then, guys. I will tear it down and be back with you once I have something else to do because I hadn't really got much else planned for this episode. Hmm. Okay, so actually, after taking an aerial view look, um, I can see that it's a six-pack toilet roll. <laughs> it's actually quite funny. I'm surprised it isn't on fire, to be honest. You know, last two seasons and all that. So, yeah, I'm going to dismantle it, and I'll be back with you shortly. So as you can see, the camera count is set up, which means we're doing another time lapse today. Today is going to be the bamboo farm. Um, this I did actually design in creative, um, tested it. This is also a new flying machine design that I found. It works in north, south, what, east and west direction. So no worries about it freaking out if it's going the wrong way. Um, and it doesn't, it's hard to break it, put it that way. Um, it can have a lot more slime blocks on it than what you will see in the video, but um, unfortunately due to space and me trying to keep it into a um, chunk plus the big 3x3 three three pillar going through the middle, yeah, so I do believe without further ado, run that speed force time lapse. So for all you that are actually still watching, congratulations, you made it through a full episode of Joker talking nonsense. Anyway, uh, there is some good news and some bad news. The good news is that England is most likely going to start opening up. The bad news is England is going to start opening back up again. But did they not learn anything from the first two times that we did this? Seriously? Just wait till everybody's va been vaccinated. I understand that people are struggling for money. I do. But if you want to keep people safe, then that's the way to do it. Um, I have a sister who is a teacher. I do believe, do wholeheartedly think that teachers should have been one of the first categories to be done. Because according to the English government, kids under the age of... I think it was eight can't get the virus no the difference is, the 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 thing is with that is that no they can get it just they don't complain about it they just get on with it they don't know what it is most kids will have a cold and still go running around like nothing is the matter trust me i have a child myself he even when he's ill he's not well even today, he is currently having what look. It's, it seems like earache. I think he's teething slightly, uh, his back teeth. But every now and again, he gets a bit warm. His cheeks go red. But in himself, he's fine. He might go a bit quiet for about half hour or so. He's fine. Give him a tickle and he'll laugh and he'll carry on playing and nothing. So this under eight don't, can't get the virus is absolute BS. Uh, my sister is a second grade teacher, 
she does dance and drama. She's insane. Because <laughs> she's still going to work during all of this. Um, she's been off for three weeks and now they're sending the kids back. And of course, nothing's changed. The kids haven't been vaccinated. The teachers haven't been vaccinated. And if anything happens to the teachers, who's liable for that? Because I'm sorry, but I would have thought that the teachers would have been classed as frontline workers. You know, they're still in school looking after the frontline workers, kids. There's nobody else see where the issue is there. Because I'm sorry, but as far as I'm concerned, that's a bit of a priority. These are the people that are going to teach our kids the next, you mean, the next generation of people coming up and didn't think it might be an idea to vaccinate the ones that are going to be teaching them this. I'm sorry, I might just be like a pedantic prat, but I think that that should have happened. Anyway, I'm going to try and not moan about it. It is something that got my back up, so I do apologise for that. And I will see you back in the real world. So, as you can see, that was the bamboo farm. I do hope you enjoyed it. A couple of times I should have really made the camera, I know. Um, but you actually forget that you have the second account. But anyway, uh, if you want a tutorial on how to make this flying machine let me know in the comments technically it is already recorded so i will get it as soon as possible probably thursday if anything um i do have another couple of i want to do um just more efficient ways of doing stuff so they will be at some point i am going to go for a try because Oh, dear. oh yeah, and the way it's actually triggered is this gap. Now I didn't show this in the video. Uh, this is a one tick pulse device. Now it registers the signal coming from this daylight sensor, but then is being subtracted by 15, uh, well, well, what would be 15 uh, bar this one spot. So just it. Of course, then two ticks of oh god in harmony. Hey, you just made me break the redstone. Oh, you're so in trouble. Die. Back. So when this triggers, that turns on, goes to yeah, which then creates the four tick here. Now. This is a falling edge monostable circuit so that this will not trigger until this redstone dust goes off so that you don't get the two pulses. If this one was in subtract mode, this one wasn't, then it would be a rising edge monostable circuit where it only triggers on on signal. So uh, I may even do a little tutorial on those monostable circuits and things like that they're quite e say hello oh, and we'll go on fly and playing on the game is so hard and possible <laughs> Or there. Stone or bubble. Bubble. Ooh. Lock that off. Um, so yeah, the tower's coming along. Um, not sure what the next floor will be. It may even be uh, the XP and furnace arrays, I think is what we're going for next. But don't quote me on that. That could change quite drastically. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, then please 
hit that like button if you really enjoyed it then don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to go and check out the rest of my videos and playlists because there might be just something else for you like previous seasons of broker or even redstone tutorials from past ideas i am actually going through my old redstone builds and rebuilding them and making sure that they work for 1.16 so keep your eye out for them because there will be fixes of the builds already anyway ladies and gents i've been joker and i'll see you in a mini money mo not half an hour here have a good <laughs>